Welcome to the Champ Car 7 and 7 hour endurance race at Autobahn. Brought to you by TireRack.com, RVA Graphics and Wraps, Frozen Rotors, Bell Racing, the official helmet of Champ Car, Racing Radios, NLA Parts, Lifeline, and UUC Motorworks. Also, I'd like to thank our class sponsors, Discovery Parts, Krispy Kreme, MoneyShiftRacing.com, and the Chandler School for the Sportsmanship Award. I'll jump right into COVID guidelines. So for Autobahn, COVID guidelines, if you are vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask. If you're not vaccinated, please have that mask on um, and please be respectful for it with anybody that you know chooses to wear a mask. Um, so please abide by those rules. It is a little bit different here. We can't have any kind of cars on track um, at 8.30. Originally, we had it in our schedule that it would be at 8.30 green flag, but we had to move that back to um, 8.45 to, do a couple, to get out there and do a couple of transponder check laps. So everybody, drivers in your car and ready by 8.30. So drivers in and ready want you sitting there buckled in waiting to be waved out behind pace car. So we will release you behind pace car at 835. We want 10 minutes out there. We try to bring you all across the timing loop, make sure you're hitting correctly. Um, so that's how we will start the race. We'll put you out full course yellow. All corner workers will be displaying those double yellow flags. If you are in the back of the line, keep in mind, we only show the green flag at start finish. So if you're in the back of the line, you see those double yellows come in, that means you are racing. So we will go green flag as close to 845 as possible. So cars out 835, green flag 845. Uh, we'll go checker at 445. So keep that in mind. Another thing that's gonna be a little bit different here is we are doing the park for May. So that will be from 12 noon to one. Um, that hour we have to bring cars off track, have the corner workers have a break, my crew have a break. Um, it's probably gonna be pretty hot. So you guys might like you know having a break out there. 12 noon, we'll shut down pit road. The way that we'll do this is we'll display the white furl flag at 11.45 at the start finish only. This is your reminder that we will close pit road at 11.50. So 11.50, I'm gonna to try to get the pace car out, um, get you guys all bunched up. That way we can bring you in in a controlled way and have you guys off track at noon. They want engines off at noon. So um, we're gonna put you behind the pace car, we'll bring you in. When you come into pit road, I want you guys to stay driver's right, stacked one single file um, behind that pace car. You'll get out. No work or fueling can be done on your car at that time. So keep that in mind. Um, when you see that furled white flag, you have five minutes to come in and do what you need to do um, before we close pit road. So um, during that time, stint times also reset. So keep that in mind. I get that question a lot whenever we have a park for May. Um, and also we do go back green at one. So try to be back at your cars at 1245. Uh, we'll put you out there a little bit early to just throw that back to green at one. Uh, we'll jump into fueling rules. Everybody that comes into pit lane will see a champ car tent and it will either be, I think Thomas will be probably standing there. Um, stop there. Everybody must stop whenever they come into pit lane. We place a five minute timer on your car. This is to ensure that if you are fueling, it's that five minutes from pit in to pit out. Pit road speed is gonna be 20 miles an hour. Whenever you stop, you get that timer, you'll continue down the drive lane, which is all the way driver's right. Whenever you get close to your pit box, please, use the transition lane. Don't drive down 10 pit boxes when you get to your, and then get to yours. Um, that's just a dangerous situation. So you got that timer, you're driving down, you get to your pit box, no one over the wall until the car has come to a complete stop. We will be watching that. Um, I have pit marshals that will be watching that. So please don't do that. Um, like I said, it's a five minute minimum for fuel stops. Um, if you are not feeling, you just do what you need to do and you continue out until pit out that you didn't fuel. They'll take that timer and they'll send you on your way. 
Um, also five people maximum involved in a fuel stop at a time. Every, most important thing during fueling is everyone over the wall must be in full fireproof gear. Visors down the entire time. We see that a lot. Pit marshals will yell a lot. Um, just because you guys hop over that wall, you're in the moment, you forget, you have it cracked. Even the driver that's being switched out, he must have that visor down. So um, socks, gloves, suit, balaclava. Um, the only exception is shoes. We will allow closed-toed lace-up shoes. Power to the car needs to be off. First thing, hit that kill switch. When the gas cap comes off, you are under fueling rules. No extra work can be done on the car at that time. Um, one five gallon jug over the wall at a time. That's pretty important. Do not set your gas jugs on the wall. We will we'll get you on that one too. Fire bottle man, very important as well. Must have a 10 pound ABC fire bottle, pin pulled, ready to save your teammate's life. We want you to be at least seven to 10 feet away, just standing there. That is your sole purpose. If you see any kind of flames that you're, you're ready to hit that. Um, while you're fueling, also please use your drip pans at least three inches deep by 12 inches in diameter. Um, if you over fuel, if you have any kind of fuel that gets down, if it's bad enough, please get one of my guys and they'll radio up and maybe we'll get some crew down there to clean it up if it's bad enough. Um, if it's not, please try to clean up your messes. We want these tracks to invite us back. Overfilling, whenever you go out on the track and you just overfilled your car, that first corner station is gonna call up to the control room and they're gonna say car so-and-so is leaking. That corner station on all the way around the track, they're gonna be watching, they'll call in every time saying still leaking, still leaking in corner, this corner, that corner. So try not to do that. It ties up the radios and it's it, uh, most of the time we will let you out there, but if it doesn't quit, we'll bring you in. Uh, we don't condone contact. Any contact that's not minor will re result in both cars being black flagged. If you are being black flagged, please don't send a teammate down to ask why you're being black flagged. Um, we're bringing you in anyways. So if you get black flagged, you're gonna come into pit lane. You're gonna stop at that tent where you get that timer. Um, and that is the black flag station for us. You'll sit there, they'll explain what you did wrong, what we're not happy with, um, and we'll either give you a penalty um, or we'll talk to you. It just depends on what's, what's going on, how serious it is. It's the overtaking car's responsibility to plan and execute a safe and clean pass. So if you step out of line and you decide you're gonna pass the guy in front of you, you better do it completely and safely. Um, if not, you'll probably get penalized if anything happens out there. So uh, Autobahn is doing hot pulls. So keep that in mind. Respect fire safety crews at all times. This, that's their track. That's their home. They're there to save you guys. Um, no buzzing the EV crews. No making a pass right before you get to their trucks. Uh, we see that sometimes and it's not appreciated. I will bring you in if they feel unsafe. Um, they are very, very good at noticing what car and what car number just like that and and we will find out about it so please respect the emergency crews out there so we'll go full course yellow if there's anything major out there um we'll put the pace car out and bunch you guys up please if you are out there and we the pace car goes out and you don't have cars in front of you please catch up to the pack we're trying to bunch you guys up out there to make a safe situation for the ev crews to work as the as the pack goes around that's when they have the most time to just freely work and not have to look over their shoulder so that's why we do that um so make sure that you guys bunch together don't go over your two hour driver stint limit so let's go over flags. We go, we operate by the line of sight rule. Whenever you see a corner station displaying that flag, you are under that condition. It's not race up to that station and you're under that condition. It is when you see that flag, that's what you should be doing and abiding by. So the flag that we will see the most is the yellow flag. Yellow flag, absolutely no passing. You see that flag, don't pass any kind of cars. You will see the flag, Pass the station, pass the incident, come to the next man station and not displaying a yellow flag. And that means you are back to racing. So standing yellow, we ask that you drop your race speed to 70%. So there's something that happened. Maybe it's offline, off track. Um, drop that race speed for a standing yellow to 70%. 
you see a waving yellow, there's something more major, maybe it's in the racing line, eyes up, drop that race speed to 50%. It could be a bigger problem. Um, so yellow flags, no passing. Uh, I will hand out penalties for any kind of passing under yellow violations. Um, red flag is the flag we hate to use the most. It means something serious is going on out there. If you see a red flag come out, make sure that you pull off drive line so the emergency crews can get past you quickly, um, preferably in line of sight to a corner station so that we can communicate with you guys out there whenever we go back to a yellow green. We'll put the pace car out after a red flag in front of the leader and then we'll slowly get you guys circulating to go back green. But red flag, very serious. Uh, make sure that you guys come to a controlled stop so that those emergency crews can get out. Black flag, that means that we have something wrong with your driving or you're doing something out there that we don't quite like. You see that black flag, make sure you come into black flag station. Um, meatball is a black flag with a red center. That means that there's something going on with your car. You either got something hanging off, um, exhaust is dragging, um, we think your motor's gonna go, just depends. So um, if you see a meatball flag, please come in. White flag, that means there's a slow vehicle out on track. So corner stations, they'll just cover that car until it comes in. So if you see a white flag, that's what that means. There's uh, something slow moving out there. Special reminders, we wanna thank our sponsors. RVA, Graphics and Wraps, Frozen Rotors, Bell Racing, Racing Radios, NLA Parts, Lifeline, UUC Motorworks, and our title sponsor, TireRack.com. Please reach out to me if you have any questions, chelsea.vickery at champcar.org. Champcar and as always, thank you guys for racing with us. We know you have options out there, and it means a lot to us at Champ Car that you continue to support and make this club what it is. See you guys at Autobahn. Please reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.